Hello and welcome back to Drinking by Myself. My name is Emma and this is my husband Argy. <laughs> and today we are going to be opening up two subscription boxes of vegan treats. I have got here the Vegan Tuck box, which I've never tried before, and the Vegan Kind, which I have tried before and it's really good. I am a vegan, my husband here is a carnivore, and together we're going to try all of <laughs> these... <laughs> an omnivore. We are going to try all of these yummy vegan snacks and see what we think. Yep. There's a lot to eat. So let's get going. Cheers. Cheers. In the Vegan Kind March box, we have, oh, because it's Easter, it's come with a recipe for Easter sandwich biscuits. Baking is tricky, but they look cute and Eastery, so maybe we'll make those. But we're not going to look at this because it has spoilers. We are just going to go into trying all of the food. Crunchy lentil puffs. Super Moon's Crunchy Lentil Puffs. You just had some, didn't you? Yeah, I have eaten quite a few different lentil-based crisps, and I've always really liked them. Salt yeah, and vinegar. Salt and vinegar, which is my favorite crisp free. flavor. They Ooh. look like Captain Crunch. Yeah, they taste like, um, what are those orange ones that are like fingers? Are they Cheetos. Wasits? Cheetos. They're like Cheetos, but salt and vinegar. But they're only, they're like mildly salt and vinegar. They're not like a Walker's salt and vinegar. Underwhelming. Yeah. Okay. I would say those are fine. I would happily eat mm. those. But they're not going to be like my new favorite crisps. Great. They do the same thing as Cheetos. Like, yeah. they end up dissolving more so than anything else. Yeah, yeah. Okay, second thing in our box. We have... Okay, well, I know I'm not going to like this because it's peanut butter. But you could try this later because you like chocolate and peanut butter. We might insert here a clip of RG eating this on something. <laughs> Are you literally just going to squirt that into your mouth? Okay, go for it. Squirt it in. You're being weird. <laughs> Wouldn't you have it if it was on pancakes? I hate peanut butter. I know, but like, try it on pancakes. Peanut butter makes me gag when I smell it. Can eat peanuts around her. Oh, it makes me feel sick, actually. Why? Because I hate peanut butter so much. Verdict? Thumbs up. Okay, <laughs> next up. Ooh, Trek Toffee Triumph Protein Energy Chunks. Okay, you're feeling sleepy. Let's see if this gets your energy up. <laughs> Is that how that works? Oh, they look nice. And I like toffee. What are they? Ooh. Oh, they're so sweet. Fruit, nut, oat, and crunch chunks. <laughs> What's the crunch? I can imagine, is that the kind of thing you're supposed to like take on a walk and snack on it while you're trekking away? Well, more carbs than protein. There's something, um, I liked the outside of it, but when it's got to the middle, it tastes a bit aniseedy. Are you getting that? I get more like cherry or something like that. Interesting. It's something kind of sharp. Watch me read ingredients. Watch him read ingredients. There's something in that that I'm not liking as an aftertaste. They're nice though. Yeah? Okay. So this is more of a win for you than for me. Okay, going back in. Oh, it's toothpaste! It's vegan toothpaste. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Insert clip of us brushing our teeth tonight. Toothpaste I'm fussy about if it doesn't taste nice, but I'm intrigued by it being coconut, so we'll try that now. It's kind of weird brushing your teeth and then not feeling super minty, but I like that taste. My teeth feel clean. Successful toothpaste then. Guess so. Does it have fluoride? Who bloody knows. <gasps> I've just seen what's next. It's garlic mayonnaise! Aioli. Yeah. Aioli is like one of my favorite things in the whole of the land. What can I try this with right now? I think I have an oat cake. I'll run and get an oat cake. Ooh, run. I'll run. Have half an oat cake? Oh, it smells garlicky. <laughs> the oat cake's a little stale. <laughs> but the garlic mayo is good. Okay, this was the first thing hmm. that I've actually really liked from this box. That's nice. It reminds me of um, aioli. Yeah. Okay, next we have, I'm sensing the Easter theme. <laughs> An Easter egg! Oh, it says a vegan cream egg? Is it going to be like a like a Cadbury's cream egg? Oh my god, look, I can see the filling like spilling out. It's going to be like a cream egg. <laughs> Imagine if I dropped it. Wow. Moonchi. It's like an after eight. Cheers. <laughs> I like that. That's a good egg. Yeah. That's an after eight, basically. Yeah. I like that more than a Cadbury's cream egg, to be honest. A little too much cream ratio for me. Mm -hmm. I definitely couldn't eat more than this. Mm. That's like really sweet and rich. Now you have to watch us try and swallow it. Do the swallowing dance. <laughs> That's weird. I'm actually a big fan of that. It's a lot of work, but it's good. It really is like a dark chocolate peppermint patty. Which is delightful. Okay, the final thing in this box is quinoa cookies. We've had quinoa crisps recently. Now we've got quinoa, quinoa cookies. cookies. Individually wrapped, feels like a waste of plastic. <laughs> it does a little bit, but I guess freshness. Yeah, useful for the fact that we're opening them now. Not wasting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so it's like a crunchy cookie, not a gooey cookie. It's good. It's yeah. tasty. It's nice and chocolatey. It's almost like shortbread. Yeah, it is shortbready. That's good. That's actually really Moorish. Probably a good thing they're individually wrapped because then it would mm. stop me from just like hmm. keeping on going. And they have chia seeds. On to the next box. This is the bigger box with more things in it. So are they from different companies? So the one that we just opened was the vegan kind, which I've tried before. 
And this is one I've only just discovered called Vegan Tuck Box. Okay. Okay, spoilers! Spoilers. Energy balls. Is that a recipe? <laughs> that was a recipe. <laughs> okay, what have we got? Medium roast. Oh, hey, it's coffee. Oh, Again, fun. you're going to have to be the guinea pig. It's like toffee. Coffee. Almond and toffee. It's tasting notes. Almond. Yeah. Coffee. Archie's going to be our guinea pig yeah. for this one. It's coffee. You I'll like try coffee. coffee. Coffee in a bag. 10 mm -hmm. grams of coffee. It smells real nice. Smell like toffee and walnut. Almond, I think you'll find. So it's like making tea or making coffee. It's nice coffee. It's just nothing spectacular. You can definitely smell toffee. Yeah, I'd be happy to get it in the shop. Okay, what's next? What's it? I can't read. Oh my god, I'm like an old person. I just felt like my rich granny. dark chocolate with a splash of orange and a crunch of spiced sea salt. That sounds really good. <gasps> Have some giant orange. They're pretty. It smells like it's got some like spices. Yeah. Like ginger. It's like a ginger biscuit. <gasps> Oh, it's good. I love any chocolate with salt in it. And that's an interesting combination. I've never had salty and orangey before. And like this dark chocolate. I think there's a lot of like spice character to it. I think that is truly delicious. It's very unique. So they're saying the sea salt is spiced and that it's got a splash of orange. I really like all the conflicting flavors going into that. I can see how not everyone would, but I love that kind of thing. I think it's a really nice treat because you wouldn't yeah. be tempted to have another packet necessarily. I mean, I might. Hippies. They're chickpea puffs. I wonder how similar they'll be to this. To the other ones, yeah. Well, let's find out. The other ones were lentils. These are chickpeas. But both puffs. Yeah, and puffs is maybe the thing that I'm like underwhelmed by. I like those more. I like the texture more. Again, also very lightly seasoned. They're fine, but they're not like exciting to me. I think they're just as exciting as the super moons, to be honest. They're like, they're a bit crunchier. The other ones were too dissolvy for me. These ones kind of feel like grit. Like, it's like eating dirt. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Not in a bad way, Okay. but in the mouthfeel. Okay, next up we have Indie Bay Pretzel Bites. They're so nice, rock salt pretzel bites. I don't really like pretzels. These are fine to me, but they're not exciting to me. But they're not bad. They're not bad. If you like, like, the normal pretzel snacks I see people have, I never like those. If you like those, these taste the same to me. Fun snack. Good. <laughs> hey, your favorite. Nice. Next up we have Pop Noodle. Argy loves Pop Noodle. You might have to be our guinea pig again, but I'll try these too. I just never eat noodles. I don't really know what to compare them to or what to expect. Yeah, well, we I can guess try these together. Makes you a good judge. Cool. Okay, we will try these soon. It's too hot to have. Yeah, it's like lightly flavored, but nice. How does it stack up to your other favorite pot noodles? Definitely not as indulgent. Like, mm -hmm. there's definitely not as much salt and, and stuff like that. I don't know if noodles are really my thing. I like ramen. And yeah. that's not ramen. So overall verdict? Decent. Next up we have a fruit bar by this neat company. Soft and chewy fruit bar with blueberries and chia seeds. Sounds nice. Right. Sounds harmless. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Yeah, that's really nice. Mm. It tastes properly fruity. It's not like a cereal bar that's like got bits of fruit. That's mm. just solid fruit. <laughs> well, like the chia seed makes it bind together really well. Yeah, I would definitely snack on that. Okay, now we have... I forgot to look. <laughs> oh, Jom Organic Candy Fizzy Caramel. I don't know what to expect from that at all. Caramel jellies sprinkled with fizz. It sounds like every kid's like dream. Oh, it's fizzy. It's fizzy caramel. That is a combination I've never in my life had before. I guess it is fundamentally like sour at first Yeah, though. it's sour and then suddenly you're like, oh my God, that's a caramel sweet. I like that. That's mm. completely bizarre, but I like it. I feel like this is something I would eat at the cinema. It's like pick a mix. It kind of tastes like the butter flavor of jelly beans. Mm. It does. It does taste like that. It does. <laughs> Thank you. Organic rosy rabbit. Rosy rabbit, what's she? Is she some chocolate? Can you even see she any is. of these things? I should put them closer, shouldn't I? Yeah. She's some chocolate. I'm feeling pretty full, how are you? <laughs> Don't crinkle while I'm talking. <laughs> I'm eating Rosie's ears. Doesn't feel very vegan of me. I had to eat her face. Well, that's even worse. That's nice. To be honest, that just tastes like Easter Christmas chocolates. Those like off-brand generic tasting chocolate. You mean cheap tasting chocolate? Cheap tasting chocolate. <laughs> yeah. I would snack on that, but it's not like, wow, they've made chocolate amazing and new. I'll give it that it's a slight step up. It reminds me of olives a little bit. <laughs> Why? Mm. It reminds me of that precisely not at all. Last few things. We have salted almonds, cranberry, white chocolate. This is more chocolate. Super chalk. Can you see it? Oh, this, you know what this is going to be like? This is going to be the vegan equivalent of a caramac bar. It's salted though. Mm. Caramac is too sweet, is what I discovered. So is it made from like almond milk? Or? Must be. Oh, yeah. That's almondy and salty. I like that. I'm on board with that. It's super rich. Yeah. Just so rich. I really like that. 
I think the answer is I really like rich things. Yeah. I'm just an indulgent person who has indulgent tastes. <laughs> You're more of a delicate flower. Thank you. Now, we have another cookie. But this time, it is cookie. a big double chocolate cookie. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not gooey, it's soft. It's more cakey. Yeah, it's got a lot of flour. I don't like that at all. No, I don't like that. It's not the texture that I want. It's not the taste that I want. Who wants that taste? Nobody. Wow, this thing. I guess they're saying like it's really nutritious and that's the excuse for this. <laughs> it's the excuse for this monstrosity. Could you eat like a full thing of this? It's just like this really licorice chocolate flavor mm. in a rather bland <laughs> cakey. <laughs> not to be mean. So he likes it a lot. Our final thing of the night. Peanut bears. <laughs> peanut bears. Not peanut, but peanut. peanut that's a really bears. bad brand name. So there's no peanuts, so that's good for me. Oh, they're cute little bears. Focusing on my face, because my face is too good. It doesn't want to focus on the bear. Oh, there, you kind of saw it. It's there, it's cute. Okay, we're back on my face now. Ooh, it's nice and soft. That's a real <laughs> good texture. That's nice. Yeah, not bad. Then the taste in the middle is like, tastes like seeds. Yeah. It's like different from what anything I've had before. Really different. Those are all the things we just tried. I would say that my favorite thing was those little chocolate orange buttons. How about you? Sickly sweet and indulgent is a fine line. And so for a lot of that, I was straddling. But I guess, probably like the noodles the most. <laughs> <laughs> Which we haven't tried yet. By the time you watch this, we will have. So you'll know if he actually didn't like them. Decent. I also really liked that white chocolate and cranberry and almond one. I thought yeah. it was really nice. My favorite thing was the toffee triumph oh yeah so i didn't yeah. really like those those were real you nice. can have those Thank i officially you. hand them over they're on the floor but I <laughs> <laughs> you can pick them up yourself what did you think of the boxes overall i thought it was a lot of candy this one mm. i think was deliberately easter focused so that's fun but it wasn't as exciting an overall experience because it was mainly chocolate the first box like, i feel like it was a more diverse box i liked the second one better but only because just, it was just unfortunate that the first one had like peanut butter that I don't like and it had those like toffee things. I didn't really like the aniseed of them. So I enjoyed more things of the second box. So if you're interested in either of those boxes, I will link all of the information that you need in the description box below. I overall thought that these were really fun boxes, but this wasn't my favorite month. Do you feel like you are convinced by vegan snacking? No. <laughs> That's because snacking for me it's all about the like umami protein. Yeah. So I'd be interested to try a different month with you yeah. because this one was very sweet, heavy, which isn't your favorite type of snacking. And it's not my favorite type of snacking mm. either, though I do like it. So that was a vegan and a carnivore trying different vegan subscription box snacks. And do leave a comment below letting us know your favorite vegan snacks that we can go and try. We're looking for something a bit more savory. Give us recommendations. And here's Hippo. She's a little vegan as well, except that she isn't. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button below for new videos every week. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. We'll see you next time. <laughs>